The other major story today, American swimmer Michael Phelps challenging Mark Spitz's record of seven gold medals, won his first gold today, setting a new world record in the 400 meter individual medley. Phelps has a long way to go and one of his major obstacles is fellow American Ian Crocker who has conquered profound personal problems just to get here. Look at the power, the timing, the rhythm. He's just got At just the right moment, Ian Crocker appears to be peaking. He broke his own world record in the 100-meter butterfly at the Olympic trials last month. Ian is, when the gun goes off, he is a mental giant. He is one of the best. At the NCAA championships in March, he swam the fastest 100-meter freestyle in history. Remember, this is a kid from Port and now Crocker may take a gold medal away from his teammate Michael Phelps as Phelps tries to better Mark Spitz's 1972 record haul. He is the best 100 butterfly in the world and being able to race him is, you know, it's something I get excited and get pumped up for. But in recent years, the biggest challenge the 21-year-old Crocker has faced has been out of the water. Basically, it was over a, a long period of time. I think that the depression kind of crept into my life. Four years ago, just out of high school, Crocker won a gold medal at the Sydney Olympics and was recruited to swim for the University of Texas. But his depression, despite his success, deepened. It was really hard to get out of bed in the morning just to do the simple things like go to class and go to practice. Crocker didn't know the extent of the problem until his mother visited him at college and saw he was different. Things he had liked doing, playing music and fixing old cars, he no longer enjoyed. Finally diagnosed, he went on antidepressants and through therapy began to understand his illness. Success can be a, a difficult thing to handle. Uh, sometimes it's, it's just as hard as failure to handle. It is estimated that over 19 million Americans suffer from clinical depression and that only one out of three get any treatment. High-performing athletes are no exception. The list includes football player Terry Bradshaw, skier Peekaboo Street, and jockey Julie Crone. All have gotten treatment and gotten better. People make great recoveries from clinical depression. Uh, their performance in every uh, facet of their life can improve. After the Athens games, Ian Crocker plans to get the message out to other young people that depression is nothing to be ashamed of and that there is help. I think I've turned, you know, th done a 180 and really uh, grown a lot and I have a much more positive outlook on everything now. And an excellent chance to win gold.